it's uh, an opportunity to come back on the spirit of the price. We do consider that this price is like a Nobel Prize for nutrition. It requires a very, very rigorous mode of selection. And there are different steps in this process of selection. The candidates are proposed by the university. We have received 21 proposals. And as the president of the prize jury selection, I was uh, with a panel of uh, colleagues and we selected eight candidates and afterward the jury made the work and we do consider that the jury is uh, sovereign. The jury had the very hard work because all the candidates, the eight at least, were outstanding and it was quite difficult to make difference, but difference has been considered and uh, Phil Calder has been uh, selected as, uh, as a winner. And who is uh, Philippe Calder? It's a very well-known scientist and uh, his uh, profile is very interesting. <music> Professor Calder's field of research is really uh, very translational and uh, basically is a clinician and uh, is uh, fully involved first in uh, gut immunity but in the meantime also as nutritionist is focused on the, the omega-3 which are well known and very important for health and uh, not only for health but also for preventing disease and especially cardiovascular disease. And one of the work of uh, Phil Calder was to make this clear link between the omega-3 and the immune system and aiming to demonstrate the immunological effect of omega-3. And uh, as a matter of fact, omega-3 has anti-inflammatory agents. And uh, in the setting of uh, not new disease, but burden of cardiovascular disease, it makes sense. But on the other hand, Phil Calder was able to open a new field in what we call clinical nutrition. Clinical nutrition means uh, the nutrition for diseased patients requiring either enteral or parenteral feeding. And it's clear that today, omega-3 fatty acid has become uh, what we call a pharmaconutrients and opening again a field not only for preventing like cardiovascular disease or allergy or by giving omega-3 in uh, the pregnant woman but also for diseased patients in order to improve the status or also to avoid some harmful effect of especially parenteral nutrition and that make the omega-3 uh, galaxy very, very wide, and uh, that is a very important uh, contribution of Phil Calder. And on the other hand, as an uh, outstanding scientist and involved in immune system and gut immunology, he was naturally involved in the consensus for making the point on probiotics, which is a very moving and evolving not concept but tool and uh, it's very important to make such link between the immune system some nutrients like uh, uh, omega-3 and with, uh, with the microbiota. The first one was Vernon Jung. He was uh, awarded because of his huge contribution in the field of protein. Protein is really basic for nutrition. You cannot miss protein. And afterward, the Arant, Arant was awarded. And Arant, protein is a macronutrient, and Arant is a micronutrient. The next one was for vitamin A. And not suddenly, but logically, it moved from focus on the specific nutrients to uh, 
new concepts. And David Barker makes his turn. And uh, indeed, what he proposed with not his view, but his huge work, it's a new concept in terms of programming, demonstrating that there is very, very important influence of what is happening during the fetal life and immediately after birth. There is another type of programming which is related to the microbiota. And as you know, the early phase of microbiota implementation after birth or even before birth is a new view also. And this microbiota related programming is also a new concept. And afterward, one link between the David Barker work and the burden of obesity make logical to award the discoverer of leptin. And afterward, the microbiota enter into the scene with Gordon, who show relationship between microbiota and obesity. And the last winner was the one who make link between immune system, metabolic disease, and developing again a new concept of immunometabolic disease. And if you look at the number of people affected by overweight, obesity, uh, metabolic disease, you can imagine the benefit for the public.